This devlog is going to be more techy than most of my other ones, so I hope you're ready. This is three easy ways to optimize your level. After researching ways to optimize levels, these are the best ways that worked out for me in my project. I'm going to go in order from easiest to hardest to do them and explain what happens to the best of my ability. That being said, none of them are really that hard to do. Some might be time consuming, but I would recommend doing all of them for the best performance. The first thing you want to do is check support software occlusion calling. This can be found in project settings. You can either search for it here or it's under rendering and it's the sixth one down. When you make a new project, this is turned off and what it does is allows other objects or static meshes to hide each other. The Unreal Docs have great examples that demonstrate it, so I'll use those to show you. When you load up the level, your computer loads up every static mesh, unless you have that box checked. Loading all static meshes takes up a lot of processing power, and this makes it to where only objects are loaded if they're in your camera's view, and it isn't being blocked by another object. Now I did notice when I did this, I would sometimes get flickering or blinking of objects when I would open a door, and I didn't want that. Every static object has a bound. You can turn it on by going to show, advanced, then bounds. You'll see a yellow sphere, this is the occlusion bound. It's a little larger than the object. That way your camera sees it and makes sure the object is visible, hopefully right before you need to see it. The bound sphere can be a little too small sometimes, and I found out that if you increase it in the world outliner, just search bounds in the search details with the object selected. If you increase the bounds, it will get rid of a decent amount of the flickering. The second thing you wanna do is click all of your static mesh actors in the level. Scroll down to rendering and change the desired max draw distance to a number. It's originally set to zero, which means it doesn't cool when you get far away from it. I'm using it a lot on my ceiling tiles. When I'm far away from them, I don't need them to be loaded. You'll have to experiment what works for you in your game, but for me, changing the desired max draw distance to 10,000 worked best for me, and this is what it looks like. Obviously though, you wouldn't want to make it visible in your game. The last thing you want to do is add LODs. And you can do that inside of Unreal, which I didn't know. Open up a static mesh and scroll down to LOD settings. Change the LOD group to one of the options, whichever one fits your static mesh the best. I chose small prop. You'll get a pop-up asking to overwrite stuff. Just click yes and pretend like you read it, like you read terms and conditions. And then once you do that, it will auto-generate a few LODs for you. And you can test it by moving backwards. You can see in the corner, it'll change your LODs the farther away you get from it. You can either stop here or take it a step further by unchecking auto compute LOD distances and check custom. This allows you to determine yourself when you want the static mesh to change to a different LOD. Unreal Engine adjusts the LODs depending on screen size. I would recommend placing the actor in your level and experimenting with it. That way you don't see it change to another LOD when you're too close. In the different LOD sections, you can set the screen size to what works for you. For me, I set it to 0 0.15 and 0 0.05 because once you're that far away, it still looks as if it's the original LOD. Those are the ways I optimized my level this week. It added about 10 to 15 frames to my game overall and it would spike to 30 frames extra in certain areas. I didn't go super in depth to make sure every setting was absolutely perfect. If I would have done that, I'm sure I could have squeezed some more frames out. But anyways, those are three easy ways to optimize your level. Thanks for watching.